So this is game two for the Tigers. Um, this one is against a team that hasn't been in this league before. They did well against a team previously. Uh, obviously not one of my teams, but they won. And so I didn't know what to expect here. I think they were missing a few people. At the beginning, the goalie from the game before this that I played against for my Stars team played for a few minutes because they... Uh, this 40 Creek team's goalie gets stuck in traffic. So that's why if you pay close attention, you'll see a slight switch in goalie gear and jerseys within the first few clips. This one wasn't good for me. Um, like we won and I didn't get a lot of shots. I was pretty bored. And the guy I'm playing against used to play for the Penguins. He played for a bunch of teams that basically always dominated every team I played on. And he was really good. He's really good, he still is. And his teams were really good, and we always ended up playing him in the playoffs, and it was always a tough battle and kind of a goalie shootout. And it was really weird being on the other end, because usually his teams outshot mine and we kind of grinded the win. This one was like, we just outplayed them a lot, and there wasn't a ton of work for me to do, so it kind of sucks in my end, but we win, right? So it's kind of a, do I want shots or do I want to win? Hopefully this second win with a bunch of goals for it doesn't get to my team's head in the future so we'll see what happens there uh i'm wearing this orange set again i will be wearing like i mentioned previously for whatever team starts first so even though the stars played before this i just want to wear this set for some reason so i did and i couldn't catch anything with this glove for a bit it got better like my fourth game i think with it on in this league i caught really good with it last year but in a slower league and then this one i'm having a bit of trouble so We'll see how that works out and goes down in the future. It's still nothing close to my ultrasonic, which I loved and I could catch a lot better than anything else I use. But troubles, some troubles here, as you can see, got bailed out a few times with my team. Uh, like That's why I said I wasn't really happy with myself because I, I didn't play that good. I made some ugly saves and my team bailed me out a couple times and the goals weren't the greatest. So I was using the Connect Skates for this game and the game before. And this is after I got it stretched more and they definitely are more comfortable than what they were before I got them stretched more. I still have to try, I'm gonna wear super feet in the next time I skate on them. So we'll see how that works. But the weird thing about this and what I've noticed with this a lot is one, I definitely feel that I'm slower in this than I am with other skates. And it's not like this, I, it's not the skate totally making me slower. It's that I'm not sure where my ankle is and like where my leg is. So when I go to either like T push or to sh like, push off, I'm not sure how much of my skate is on the ice and I'm always like, hesitating and second guessing myself of where my legs are and where I should push from because of that ankle flex. So that's one reason why I think I don't really like this ankle flex because of that. There's actually two other goalies in this league that are wearing these skates and the one guy is actually the guy in this game and I talked to him about it and he's, he says he loves them because they're the most comfortable skates he's ever worn because he doesn't get lace bite anymore. So. They're not quite the most comfortable skates. I have custom skates, so I don't think he's ever had custom skates. So that is one of the reasons. But on that first goal, you can see two things happen here that probably wouldn't have happened with my true skates. So I go to push into the post and you can see my pad hit the post and you can see the pad kind of bend on the boot when I try to push off and I just miss. One thing I noticed with this skate is I was a lot further off the pad than I would be in my true skate. So when I go to push there, it felt like the pad comes off this skate more, which is kind of, can be kind of a toe tie thing, but they're pretty snug when I put them on here, which is how I kind of want them. I feel like it's more of when I push, the ankle is kind of in a different spot than I'm expecting. And when I would do that normally, my whole leg would kind of come with me where this, it didn't. And the boot just flexed and that was kind of it. The other thing is if you watch my left leg, my leg gets kind of stuck like this. You can see the, the skate totally stuck on the ice like this. And like it goes under my left pad, but it wasn't like that wasn't the reason. I'm not blaming the skates for this goal, but it's, it's the awkwardness is kind of like what led, helped it happen. And you can see my leg like totally stuck like this and up in the air. I would, don't really get caught like that when I wear my true skate. So I feel like, again, this is another case where because the skate has so much hinge to it, I feel like my skate was totally connected to the ice when normally it wouldn't be and my blade would be in a different position. But because this has the hinge, the way that my leg went down kind of just put it in a weird spot and this blade got kind of stuck and it kind of kept my leg somewhere I wasn't really expecting it to be. So we're gonna have to watch out for that and see how that works. I'm gonna use this more. I don't think I'm gonna use these, ga these skates anymore with this league because this league is generally faster 
We'll see how my other leagues are based on some of the teams because one of the teams from this league went to my other league. So we'll see if they just totally dominate. But generally this league is faster than my other one and I feel like I need that like split second decision making, not even decision making, but just making sure I know I'm very comfortable with my legs and kind of where my body's moving. Yes, I could probably get used to this, but my trues don't really bother me a ton except for some comfort issues up here, which these fix for that one spot, but they don't fix for down here. So it's hard for me to justify wearing something I'm awkward with and I feel slower with and not as comfortable with in a league where it's faster hockey. So I'm, I'm gonna use this in one of the other ones more and just see how it is before I do like the full review and everything on them. So if you're buying hockey equipment and you wanna support the channel, check out the links in the description. In the US, check out the links to Pure Hockey. In Canada, check out the links to Hockey Supremacy. If you click those links and make a purchase, I get a kickback from the sale. So anything that comes back from that comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing like real reviews and stuff. I got buy gear to do a lot of the tests for it. So that costs money and it would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out the links in the description to Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there comes again back into the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews. <laughs>
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca.